Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. Please just chill. Please just chill. Just chill. All right, go kid. Come on, let's get, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I need a mimosa. She <laughs> okay, baby? Right here. I'm not baby. Wow. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. In today's video, we're going to check out horseback riding and ATVing here at Gunstock Ranch. Gunstock Ranch is located up on the North Shore about an hour from Waikiki. Make sure to give yourselves an hour and a half to drive just in case you hit some traffic. I've lived on this island for over 15 years and I've never actually been to Gunstock Ranch. So this past week, I did. I tried two different activities at Gunstock Ranch. I did their one hour horseback ride and their 1.5 hour UTV and I had such a great time. Once you get to Gunstock Ranch, you'll head over to their check-in booth that looks just like this. And there's plenty of parking. Keep in mind that these trail rides are meant for beginners. You're going to be walking in a line the entire time. There's no cantering, galloping, riding off into the sunset, any of that. Me, I'm a complete beginner. I've ridden a horse maybe twice in my entire life, one of which was at Kualo Ranch or the Jurassic Valley. My friend who went, she is a polo player, so she's advanced, all the bells and whistles, everything, but I am the beginner, so we did this one. If you're a complete beginner, this is definitely the ride for you. It's really gorgeous. You'll have a little bit of trail rides, some ocean views, and they do stop for you to take some photos later on. We are midway on the ride and we're here at our halfway point about to take some photos. Our guide told us that all these rocks you see here are actually dried up coral reefs from when this entire area was submerged by water back in the day. We're just nearing the end of our ride. It's been about an hour. So. After we finished our hour horseback ride, we had some time before our UTV started. Rather than just hang around there, we drove down to Haleiwa Town to have lunch. If you do decide to drive to Haleiwa Town to have lunch, keep in mind that traffic can be very unpredictable. On the way back, we were cutting it quite a bit close and we were about five to 10 minutes late to our check-in time. If you are able to, I would try to do the activities back to back. So you could do the horseback in the morning and then followed by the ATV right after or vice versa. However, when I went to make the reservation, they did not have those times available and these were the only times available for this specific day. We had the nine o'clock horseback and then the two o'clock UTV. So the main restriction for the horseback is that you have to be at least seven years of age and you also have to be under 240 pounds or about 109 kilograms. They have hour and hour and a half long rides as well as sunset rides. If you're traveling with kids or little ones who are under that age group, they have a pony ride available, which is a shorter ride. It's 30 minutes and it's geared for children who are between the ages of two years old and six years old. Make sure that you do wear long pants and closed toed shoes. I wore leggings and I had an athletic tank top on that I have on right now. But it's super easy and super comfortable. You will be out side the entire time. So make sure that you do wear plenty of sunscreen and wear your sunglasses as well. They provide helmets for you. If you're over the age of 18, you don't have to use them as long as you sign an additional waiver. As a complete beginner, I definitely kept my helmet on. As for the UTV, this is where I made a little bit of a mistake. I didn't thoroughly read the description. When I made the reservation for the UTV, I didn't realize that we weren't going to be the ones driving it. It's all guide driven. So you'll never drive the ATV the entire time you're at the ranch, but it is a fun tour. Our guide was amazing, showed us around the ranch, and gave us some history about the ranch too. You explore the ranch and it's massive. They also take you to this really cool cave where you can kind of explore for a little bit as well. The temperature drop in the cave was pretty remarkable. After we explored this area for a little bit, we headed back up to the ATV and kept on going with the tour. Overall, great tour. Super fun. I wish I would have read the description a little bit more thoroughly because it does say explicitly both on the website where you go to book that you will not be actually driving the UTV, but overall I had a great time. On the UTV, we also stopped here to hang out with our friend. Oh my goodness, I don't have anything for you. I don't know if I'm made for this, but here we are. And now it's lunchtime. And this was the spot for our picnic lunch. Gorgeous ocean views, yummy sandwiches, chocolate chip cookies, juice, and fresh fruit. Perfect way to end the day. So, trees are about 90% of the, the plants 
Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighbor islands. We also have a coupon code for subscribers. When you go to book, type in YES TO HAWAII with two as the number two for a 5% discount on anything you book. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below.